Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. It is a beautiful Thursday morning. The sun is out. I am headed into Jersey for the day. Uh, right now, we are going to a rummage sale at the Greek Orthodox Church in Fairfield, New Jersey. I believe that's where it is. Uh, I don't know. I let the GPS take care of it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've never been to the sale. And I'm excited to go check it out. So let's see what this see what the sale has in store for us. Let's go. Yeah, this is some jewelry against the wall. Beautiful. Dynasty gallery. These are nice though. <laughs> I get one, you get one. Yeah. Make the buyer pay it. <laughs> buyer pay shipping. Is there a spot to leave your stuff? Yeah, I'll take some for you. Okay. What's your name? Tina. Please? Okay, Tina. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. I'll be making. I'll be making several trips back. That's fine. I'm gonna put all your oh, stuff. Thank you. I'm gonna, mix. I'm gonna take this flatware too. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and this. I recognize you. Oh, do you? Yeah. This too. Okay. Thank you. Sure. I'll be back. Ooh, there's more flatware. Ooh. These as well. I'm going to take this flatware too. Thank you. something about these. Not sure if this one's worth anything, but I'm going to take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people are in the jewelry section. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't really care. Just take her real. Thank you. That's an interesting belt. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Mark. There's a lot of safety. Yeah. 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 The other basket's right around that. Yeah, that area is super crowded, so I'm not going to worry about the... I'm not going to worry about the jewelry section. One piece set, nine dollars. That's not bad. It's like one of the precious moments that does seem to sell. Let me check out the holiday section. As usual, you have to move quick. Fairly quick, anyhow. William Sonoma. Snowmen. Night before Christmas. Lighthouses. Candlesticks. Maybe I should get those. They're Danbury. Danbury can be okay. 
Well, these are cute. Disney Parks. Set of three. Ooh. Missing two saucers. Four-piece set for forty dollars. Fifteen. This is the um, pricier section. Waterford and their Brookside. I've sold that before. Bobblehead. Excuse me. I got some more for the dotting pile. <laughs> My things are heavy. I'm going to take the little Anna Lee for a dollar. Carol Harris. These. It's interesting. We're going to get that. I like an interesting things. I'm going back to my pile. Uh, oh. I'm with two other people. Um, and I'm healthy. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to grab a couple more Lennox pieces. <laughs> yep. I know. And this too, look at this one. Oh my gosh. And then the three mugs. Okay. And I'll be back. I see something I want over there. Thank you. Ooh, what is this? I'm gonna get this too. Some nice crystal pieces. I'll add this. You can take that to, to Tina. <laughs> Excuse me? No, you're fine. Okay. These are very interesting days. It's pretty small. You can put it right on the Excuse me? Yes. This is a candle. Eric, right? It's that Florentine and Pearl, which is a nice pattern. It is, isn't it? It's a candle, too. I don't think it's scented. Oh, right, this one? Yeah, yeah. But the Linux, you can't do the one. This is cute, too. I'm gonna keep looking. I should put this stuff down. It's a hole. <laughs> Oops. Excuse me, can I add this? Yeah. Careful with this one because the lid is the lid is separate. Thank you. Hair cover. That is super cute. It's only a dollar a piece. You can use these for like a kid's party or something. I'm grabbing those. And some bags over here. Okay. 
tune in and see what that says. All right, it might run back over now to where the belts and stuff are. This is nice, even though it's only one single stick. I am going to have to... Oh, wow. Hold on a minute. Gorgeous. $2. This is so gorgeous and interesting. Excuse me. Can I hand this to you? This is so neat looking. I don't know what it is, but it's really neat. And then these. Thank you. You're working so hard for me. <laughs> Piece of glass is super interesting. Maybe I'll grab it anyway. Very cheap feeling. This looks like a uh, Brighton. Yep. No spot a Brighton. Zipper belt. Leather shop. That's like so cool. We haven't had luck selling belts like this before. Excuse me. It's got... Yeah, we're not going to walk up. We're going to be done. We're going to be done. We're going to take one more spin around. These are really neat. Wicker Park. Do they fold up or something? I don't know. Oh yeah, I think they do. They're really cool. Are you guys in the box? Take a casual scroll around. It's coming down. Everybody ready? How much the bracelets? Uh, I'm sure the jewelry is picked over by now. Ooh. Look at, look at these. 
of these baked goods. They look delicious. Oh, here's another mug. This will make it a set of four. That matches my others. When I first came in, I kind of went really quickly past these tables. So take another quick, quick gander here. I think these are uh, like Nicole Miller Melamine. I think I've sold something similar to that. I'm really excited to research that one glass piece I picked up. little pottery piece. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of nice. I don't really know what that is either, but I think I'm going to get it. Some art over here. Currency, five dollars. Kind of interesting. <laughs> Madonna and Child. Wow, this is very interesting. Very heavy. It's got something on the interior. Oh, wow. I think this is made, this looks like a bullet. Like an insane size bullet that was made into like a vase. That would blow a hole through like, I don't even know what. This thing is so interesting though. I have to pick this up. I have to pick that up. That is so interesting. Are just wooden. Okay, I'm kind of in love with this sale, and I'm so glad that I that I came to it and waited in line. I will definitely come back here next year. This is block. I think I might take a chance. Edible arrangements. I knew that was edible arrangements. I really like that mug though. I might take a chance on that Mikasa, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna see if it's still over over here. It is. It is still over here. Hanover. Hanover decanter. Mm. All right, we're going to get these Waterford pieces. These are not in the right box. That bo box said Brookside, but these are the Hanover brandy, and they look like they do well. So we're, we're getting this set for 40 bucks. All right, so we needed to put the air on for a minute. Um, it is warm out now, um, and yeah, so that sale was really well run. I have to say I was a bit apprehensive. Um, I was a bit apprehensive when they came out and said no bags. 
So it was like, oh, how is that going to work at a, at a sale that's, you know, primarily hard goods? So anyway, as you could see, they had a lot of holding tables. They were very organized. They wrapped everything. I mean, I don't think I've ever been to a sale that was just so easy to navigate and just so well run and the people were so nice. So I ended up leaving with three boxes and they had one of the kids help me bring everything out. He put the stuff on a cart. He carried it to my car. Um, I tipped him because like that was just awesome. So yeah, I am very happy. I spent $120 on all of the stuff um, that I'll show you when we get back to the warehouse. I know I basically showed everything on camera, but I'm gonna try to uh, maybe research a couple items um, before I do, do the haul and uh, see if I can give you guys any more info on them. I'm not sure. Um, and maybe you guys will help me. So maybe I won't do that. I know sometimes you guys will drop it in the comments, like, you know, helping me out. So I don't know, but anyhow, and then I spent $5 on these little um, biscottis. I don't know what they are exactly. I'm not sure what's in them, but they look amazing. They have some sesame seeds. Um, yeah, this was just such a nice sale. I will definitely, definitely come back next year. Uh, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And it, like I said, it's very well run they put a lot of time and effort into this. You can see that. And, um, yeah, very nice. So anyhow, that's going to wrap up this portion of it. And I will see you guys for the haul and then, and then that'll be it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm losing my train of thought. I got to figure out what I'm doing next. So, all right, I'll see you guys back for the haul. All right, guys. I just got back from some yard sales. We're going to get this rummage sale haul started. <laughs> Look, what am I even doing right now? Okay, so $120 at this sale. Again, this sale was phenomenal. Um, like, I just loved it. So anyway, got this really cool chest set. Uh, opens up. Hopefully all the pieces are here. I don't even honestly know how many pieces are supposed to be in a chest set. So I'm going to have to figure that out and count them but they're very cool looking. Um, I want to say I saw comps around $50 on eBay. Uh, I know I said that maybe I would do a little research before I started this haul, but I did not because as I said, I just got back from yard sailing. Maybe I didn't say that, but if I didn't, I just got back from yard sailing. Um, but I have a couple hauls that I have to film, so that's what we're jumping into. So yeah, all right, got that. Got this false graph uh, beachcomber set. And I think, you know, just because it's got that nautical appearance that this would be good even for someone that doesn't have this pattern. So it's a cute little coffee center. So it looks like it lifts off in a couple different layers. So you could put like sugars, you know, creamers, I don't know, or sugar here, coffee here. I don't know what, there's so many compartments. I don't know what you're doing with all this, but it's a coffee center. Um, and it appears to be brand spanking new in the box. So that's pretty cool. Did not look this up. If I do find any comps, I'll pop them up there on the screen. Uh, ooh, what is this? Oh, this, this is, ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I always, you, know, you guys know, you guys know how quick I move. When I picked this up, I looked at it. It is Orifers, which is, I mean, Orifers is, you know, just one of those brands. They make very beautiful crystal. The stopper is in one of my other boxes, but I just turned it around. And it says Comcast. <laughs> so is there going to be a market for this Orifers Comcast uh, carafe. I'm not quite sure. So we'll see about that. It is beautiful until you turn it around and it says Comcast. <laughs> oh boy, come on. It is what it is. So this right here, I think she was one of the first things I picked up. A little Joseph original girl. 
Oh, again, holy mackerel. Maybe this sale's not gonna be too well by the time I'm done with this haul. Um, her head and like the top portion of her body has definitely been glued back on. I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Look at the back. Look at the back of her. Whew, I should have looked her over. Well, she's, uh, she's not gonna be sold. But that's okay. That's all right. We're good. We're good. So this right here is Dynasty Gallery. A lot of times sold in gift shops. There were two of these. Um, I almost said this. There were two of this. No, there were two of these. And uh, I met a viewer, Gary, I believe is his name. Gary, I'm sorry if that's not your name. I'm terrible with names uh, most times. But anyway, I told him to pick the other one up. So I don't know if he ever did, but... Um, I don't know. It's just like the moon and the stars. I think it's a really cool paperweight. Uh, like I said, Dynasty Gallery is typically sold in like gift shops. Uh, I've seen them at like, I think I've seen this brand at like an aquarium before. Um, but yeah, this, I think this is still a really cool, really cool paperweight. Okay. Then, oh, this is a little Lennox, um, pineapple hospitality. And it's got the little pineapple to hold the napkin so they don't blow away. Uh, I just thought that was cute. It was a dollar, so I couldn't pass that up. And, and then I did get a couple mixed bags of flatware. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely sort through these and see what I can do with it. But again, it was $2. It was so cheap. I couldn't pass it up. So not all of it will probably be sellable. This is $2.00 some an Oneida pattern, I believe. And then this, I don't even, oh, this is false graph. This is a false graph pattern. So again, for $2, it's just a no brainer for me to pick those up. Now we're going to move into the next box. These were a dollar a piece. These are chair covers, uh, little adventures, little handyman chair cover. So there's five of them. So it's like an uneven number, but I just thought they were so cute. Uh, they do have the Amazon sticker on there. So they originally came from Amazon. I'm not sure how much these are going to go for yet, but I just figured for like, you know, maybe a little boy's like birthday or something like that. I just thought they were really cool for like a themed kind of thing. And like I said, I got five of these. Uh, I did, I did end up going over to the jewelry after I stopped filming right before I left. Uh, I ended up also putting the belts back because I had to pay for those separately. I had to go back to the jewelry again to pay for those. And I just wasn't feeling it. And I just, I, I wasn't super inspired by those belts. So I did put those back. Uh, anyhow, over at the jewelry, I did, oh, and I did pay separate for this stuff. So this stuff cost me $10 uh, in total. So I got this Chico's necklace, got like a leather strap. I thought it was kind of nice. If you guys can see that, I should move closer, but if I move the camera closer, then you're just gonna see like my face right here. And uh, then this one is Ann Coplick, Coplick Designs. Um, it's got a nice little crystal on there. I think this, this should do okay. I'm thinking maybe 20, 20, 25 on this. It's from brass tone. Okay, then I got this Marquesa, uh, M-A-R-C-H-E-S-A. -E That's how you spell it. Just a little cuff kind of bracelet. I haven't even looked this brand up, but I thought it was nice. You can see that. All right. <clears throat> Picked up this little dish for a dollar. Judge Designs, Mary Judge. I have never heard of Mary Judge. I'm not even sure what this is, but I liked it, so I got it. Then, this was very interesting to me. This this piece for $2, I just could not let this go. This is beautiful. The only thing I don't really care for is this little applied like duck head. I feel like that kind of takes away from it. I feel like it makes it... Um, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not sure if it goes with the etching. So check this out. Um, but yeah, this, this is like super cool. Uh, let me 
pretty smooth pontal area on the bottom, like like a blown glass kind of type thing. But I mean, look at this. There's like a nude lady like laying on the grass or something. I just thought that was so cool. And then on the other side, you have like little, it looks like a gnome or something. I, and like children frolicking. I, I'm not sure what, it, this is a weird, you know, you're talking about a nude lady on one side and then children frolicking on the other. It actually sounds like a weird situation. Um, I thought it was really cool and unique and now it might be like, it might be unlawful. I'm not sure what's going on here with this, but um, so that is the other side. I don't know. It just seems like super unique to me. <laughs> I made this sound so cool and then I made it sound very sick and twisted in a matter of 10 seconds. So, uh, but anyway, no, I still, I still think this is beautiful. So maybe you could display the side, you know, that you want to display, put something in between. So you don't know what's going on on either side, block it, put the curtain on, block it off. Uh, but yeah, and then we have the applied duck head. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's unmarked as far as a maker. If you guys know anything about this, let me know, but I, I still think that this is a very, very cool, very cool piece. I just, I don't know. I think it's very cool for $2. Um, another interesting piece. Now, you know, some of this stuff may not be fast sellers. That is for darn sure, but it's definitely interesting. I like to pick up interesting things, um, that, you know, may not, there may not be a whole lot out of there, a whole lot of out there. So I'm trying to say. So this right here, I was like, what is this thing? Then I said, okay, I believe it is a gigantic bullet. Um, and then I was looking, I, I kind of did like a Google image search and I found, you know, it was coming up like World War One trench art. Um, so I honestly don't know because the bottom is dated 1977 so that is definitely way way past world war one that's for darn sure um it's also got 75 mm m18 on it maybe it might even say something else maybe it says copyright so maybe oh hxp i am gonna have to do a little more research on this it looks like it's got something inside of it, which could very well have been part of the original, like if this was actually a, a bullet that was used. I don't know. It was a dollar and I think it's so unique and I'm hoping that, you know, I'm hoping it'll sell for a good amount of money. Just have to really research it and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. You can't really see the inside on, on camera. I just thought it was neat. So these were these were the most expensive pieces these waterford pieces um and as i said in the video these are not the correct boxes for for the brandy snifters but these brandy snifters should go for like uh for like a hundred dollars for the pair which is pretty awesome hanover gold is the pattern and then The decanter is also in the Hanover. I can't get this lid closed. I had that trouble when I was at the sale. The decanter is also the Hanover Gold pattern. Um, that should probably be about 70 to 100 as well. So another awesome piece. Uh, I love Waterford Crystal. Uh, it's usually a decent, decent seller. Okay, let me go grab the last box to wrap up this haul. All right, so another another box of goodies here. Oh, here's here's another one of those little little handy handy men things. Uh, I picked this up, Beanie Boos. This one's only gonna sell for like ten dollars, um, but some of these can go for like fifty. You just never know. This was not the right one. I could have looked it up when I was at the sale, but I didn't. Um, oh, let's see here. What is what is in here? Oh, this is. This is Lennox Florentine, Florentine, Florentine. I am all out of sorts today. Florentine and lace. It is a candle. And 
size. I don't remember right offhand what the candles are selling for, but I remember coming across one at the Columbus Flea Market back in the spring when I went and it was broken. The lid was broken, so I passed up on it. But um, this is a really popular Lennox pattern, um, the Florentine and Pearl and the Florentine and Lace. What did I tell you this was? <laughs> I'm, I might be borderline delirious right now. Um, it was another early morning. I was up at like 5.30 this morning. Uh, yesterday was the same. My dogs had me up all night. So I, I kind of don't know if I'm coming or going right now. <laughs> I don't even know what I called this. Uh, but it is Florentine and Pearl in case I said something else, which I probably did. Put it up there. All right, then we have... I thought this was neat. I don't know if this is metal. It sort of sounds like metal. It sort of sounds like pottery. Sort of looks like pottery. Sort of looks like metal. But it is called, and I looked this name up, Leaf Vase. No kidding. Uh, by Carol Harris. $39. Maybe Carol Harris was a crafter that had like a table. I don't know. But this is, I think it's pretty cool looking. I think in the fall... It's, uh, you know, going to be a nice peep, peep. <laughs> a nice piece of decor. Throw it in your, you might even want to throw a candle in here. I don't know if I'd put flowers in here. I'd put a candle in here probably. Anyway, we'll see. I think that's pretty neat. Um, stuff all over the place. Oh, here we go. Here's the Comcast stopper. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, then we got one single solitary, Anna Lee. I just thought he was super, super cute. Uh, we have a Winnie the Pooh Lennox pitcher. Pooh's lemonade stand pitcher. Very cool. I did not find one of these. Um, I just did a quick search on eBay. Uh, I did not find one of these either sold or listed. I will check Terapeak. I'll check again from my desktop or my laptop. But um, yeah, I'm thinking this may be a good a good sale. Uh, you never know. You never know. I'm sure at least $50 on that. I also picked up this little poo vase and i believe this one's selling for about 35 to 40 maybe 50. um i will have to check again but not too bad these i have not looked up i ended up finding all four of them so i got a set of four disney parks happy holidays mugs i think they're super cute um, if I can find comps on those, I'll throw them up. I will probably, I will probably sell those as a set. There's Port Marion, Pomona, 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 Pomona. Candlestick. It was only one single solitary candlestick, but I got it. And I think these are just the, the Disney, the rest of the Disney mugs. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. I feel like I picked more up. I feel like I was constantly going back to her table with stuff. But yeah, no, that is it. That that wraps it up. But I still, I love that sale. I really had a good time. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So that is going to wrap up another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button. So you get notifications every time I upload and until next time, bye.